Hey golfers, I'm Drew Mahold of Second Swing Golf here at the Minnetonka Tour Van, joined by Kevin Kraft today for another episode of the Best Dove Series for 2024. Part one, player's cavity irons, Kevin. So um, we've got three of them. This is a sort of a narrowed down ca uh, category, if you will. So we don't have a ton of uh, models out there. We also grabbed one from the end of 2023 that was a release in the Callaway Apex CB. Then we've also got two that were new here at the beginning of 2024, the Ping Blueprint S and Mizuno Pro 243. So you've been fitting these already in the bays a little bit. Um, kind of your, your first impression or, or first take on all these three models. Uh, all are doing quite well. Um, Mizuno's hit another home run with their Pro Series. Mm -hmm. uh, Ping has gone above and beyond with what they're, they've been able to do with their new Blueprints. And the Callaways have been very good as well. Yeah. Um, you know, these are these are the newest, right? Yeah. We didn't have we just didn't have a whole lot of options. Yeah. Taylor no. Maid's, yeah. Taylor Made's been out for a while now. Yep. Cobra's been out for a while. Titleist has been Titleist out, been been out for, for a while. Yep. So uh, these were the we're doing the new guys. These are the new guys. Yeah. yeah. These are the new kids on the block yep. in the players' cavity category and you know typically these are going to be what 32 33 degrees aloft in yeah. that range um and i think what you're looking for out of these irons is probably a combination of control you know softer feel and then consistency too you know yeah. you hit that shot you don't want the same feeling shot to go you know 170 yards one time and 182 the next time you know yeah whereas in you know the the game improvement category it's all about not all about distance, distance and forgiveness. Yeah. This is about, you know, full on control. Yeah. Uh, the heads aren't designed to be springy and right. long. They're designed to get the ball up and spin mm -hmm. and, and then come down nice and steep. Right. So, exactly. Yeah. So um, you're going to see different numbers from this one than you would in, in our game improvement test. Yeah. Um, but that's, that is on purpose. That is what, yeah. that's the yeah. design of the club. Exactly. So also let's quickly go over the shaft we're using for each Okay. Club head, and then um, we'll start hitting some tests or okay. hitting some shots. So, dynamic gold 120. Yep. Um, I could have gone heavier. I probably could have gone lighter. Uh, I don't play steel. I just, yeah, that's that's I, true. It it is what it is. No, with our, my sh the shaft I use isn't in the matrix. Right. So, yeah. So yeah, that that just figures. I'm weird. What can I say? <laughs> um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, 120. It's a yeah, you know, reasonably low launching, mm -hmm. reasonably low spinning shaft. Kind of yeah. work with these heads pretty well. Sweet. All right. Well, uh, which one are you hitting first? Callaway? Callaway. Apex CB? Yep. All right. So, Kevin, the Apex CB, um, we haven't done a lot of testing with that on our channel. Um, so talk to me about what that looks like and then, uh, you know, both what you see now and also at address. Yeah, it's a, it's a really clean looking uh, club head. I've heard some people push back against the the, the back badge. Mm -hmm. I don't know, it doesn't bother me, and I can't see it when I'm set up to it. So right. That's not a big deal. Uh, again, I think the, the shape for Callaway has changed a little bit. Um, it's not quite as much to my liking as what they've had in the past. Um, it's a, I mean, it's a, it's a nice narrow sole. Top line looks really, really clean, looks really small, which is awesome. Um, it's a good looking players club though. Okay. I'm, yeah. I'm pleased. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I, I, I've heard great feedback on, on the appearance of that. We did some testing initially last fall, um, which was really good. Um, we just haven't done any verses with it yet, you know, yeah. comparison, yeah. Compar comparing to other clubs. So, well, let's so. do that. Let's do that now. Okay. How's the feel through, what, three Good. shots, four yeah. shots? Yeah, feels really solid. Really solid. Nice and responsive. It's got that soft forged feel. Okay. That's got to be plenty, right? I don't know. I, I'm, just 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 kinda, just I'm, I'm just I'm just standing here. You got six. That's good. You want one more? No. I hit, I hit all those good. I got no. Okay. Yeah. So the Apex CB, I like I like this number right here. <laughs> it's pretty good. 
Yeah, if we wanted good. to be, uh, if we wanted to have more fun with it, we could. This this head shaft combination works well. <laughs> yeah, they're right. I could, I mean, clearly. So, um, yeah, let's go through the numbers here. Just under 87 on the club speed average, 118 ball speed, smash factor of 136. Almost eight, every time. Eight one four two one four four. No, like we saw with well, that, uh, yeah, that's yeah. not gonna, that's not expected. <laughs> um, launch was right around twenty degrees, and then the spin is just under six thousand, but very consistent. Yeah. And I like how I mean these carry numbers are one sixty four, one sixty seven, one sixty eight, one sixty three, sixty four, sixty four, sixty six, and then the total distances are also even better. What you want out of a player's so, iron? Um, landing angle is very consistent at a fifty. Uh, any other further thoughts here, Kevin, on, on the Apex CB? Tell you what, I kind of wish they still looked like the old Callaways, but performance-wise, it's tough to beat that. Really good. It's felt really good. That. Felt really stable. Um, did exactly what I wanted it to do. Uh, yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm happy with it. Okay, that. so a good start. Yep. Good uh, bar set by the Apex CB. So that was 34 degrees aloft. So okay. we will, I believe, go down in loft here. That's the Mizuno, correct? Yes. Now, how's that one look when you put that one down? Really good. Yeah. There, I'm so picky about irons, and there's only a few irons out there that I look at that I would be like really happy playing. This is one of them. Mm. Um, you know, the, the two two three came out. I was pretty pleased because I've, I've not necessarily been a Zuno shape guy. Yeah. And the 223 looked really good. This also looks really good. Is this good. better so, than 223? I think it's pretty close to the same, yeah. honestly. But it, this one does pinch in a little bit more where the hosel meets the meets the head. Yep. And that, for some that's reason... Your, that's your thing. That's yeah, what you prefer. For whatever reason, there that's the one thing on an iron that I absolutely obsess about. I prefer a little bit more squared toe than a real roundy toe too but this is the part that you know if i'm looking down at a golf club and i see this being high i just don't it just doesn't appeal to me so hmm. well yeah but this one passes the test at least yep this so. one's good this one's definitely good <laughs> automatic okay Yeah, that was just skinny. Well, how does the Mizuno Pro 243 feel compared to It Cobra feels the good. Callaway? It feels a little hotter. Yeah. They have been slowly making this this style iron hotter the last couple of yeah, generations. Yeah, it, it definitely feels a little faster face. So these are the numbers that you would be getting with your 7 iron, roughly. Yes, yes, that was a little, I think I caught just a little bit behind that one. Give me one more swing here. Okay, okay. so we okay. got six now up there. Okay. So interesting that, and again, that you you have a dispersion difference here to yeah. start with. I would call that user error Yeah. more than anything. It just wasn't as good with the hands that time. Half yeah, a degree different, half a degree difference between the lie angle on that one and, and okay. this one. Okay, just so. a half. Yeah, that one would have been, no, sorry. That should have been 60. This would be, this is 61 and a half. So one and a half okay. degrees. So it's Which not really should have been yeah. a little bit more that way, but right. know, human being, flawed, swinging, stick, hitting ball. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so this is kind of the numbers I was more expecting in terms of spin and distance though. Yeah. Having the, that one degree difference in loft, we got 200 fewer RPM, mm -hmm. and then therefore the distance went up a little bit. A couple yards. Um, anything else to put you with these numbers here? The club speed, very similar. Yeah, that was, that was very um, nice. I actually would have expected maybe a little more ball speed than I got on, out of this, just yeah, maybe two degrees loft change. Um, yeah, I mean, you, you did get my, over 120 no, once. I, I was okay in terms of smash factor. But the sma yeah, the smash factor was really good. So, huh. I mean, I'm, you look at launch angle and you look at like tour numbers on launch angle. I'm really high compared to tour numbers on launch angle. I'm yeah, also really mo high. Like tour guys typically lower 
launch and higher spin yes. than this. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. So, yeah. but that's kind of a way for them to control where they have more speed. They kind of control right. things more right. that way. I am what I am. <laughs> I got what I got. So, all right, we go to Ping Blueprint S now. Okay. So this one is also on the flat setting. Okay. <laughs> we will not have any issues with this one. Well, their new uh, fitting system for the irons helps a lot. With that, so, so good. Yeah. It is so good. This is a, everything that Ping does right now for their, for their fitters, all of us fitters is yeah. so great. Mm -hmm. It's just so great. So talk to me about how that one looks. <sighs> a little drooling emoji would be good. <laughs> um, it just looks spectacular. Yeah. I, I absolutely love it. It's, it's compact. It's clean. It's got a great shape. <sighs> I like the back of it. Looks really clean. Nothing, nothing crazy going mm. on back there. Um, I'm a huge fan of this iron. Looks awesome. Looks absolutely awesome. Let's see what the uh, numbers say. Okay. My first gut reaction is that that launched pretty high. Yeah, that felt amazing. <laughs> A little bit of a miss. Yeah, a little bit fat maybe. Yeah. So this is 33 degrees now. Okay. It's right in the middle of the other two. And there's your typical reaction to catching one heavy. Just Not catch thin. one thin. How's the feel of the blueprint awesome. ass? Yeah. Awesome. Absolutely awesome. From from a company that released uh the answer iron, which, no offense, Ping, but I thought that was the worst feeling forged iron I've ever hit in my life. To no offense though. To this, <laughs> I, it just wasn't. I just did not think it was a good feel. It, it felt harder than their cast clubs. <laughs> Personal experience. Yeah. Individual results may vary. Yeah. But this, there's, there's nothing hard about yeah. this. This is as buttery as butter gets. That was a bit of a miss. Heavy? A little heavy, yep. All right, let's get one I, more. I here. literally could stand here and hit this all day. Unfortunately, we don't have all day. Oh, come on, give me all day. <laughs> all right. Swung it slower. You did swing it slower. Okay. All right, so ping blueprint S. Yeah. What do we think? Interesting, the spin's a little lower. Yeah, I but your smash is way higher. This is right in the middle and loft. So yeah, that's interesting. Um, maybe a series of better swings. Could be. I only left one kind of out to the right there. Um, yeah. I don't know. I didn't feel like I was swinging slower, but it <laughs> ball speeds were certainly good. I like seeing one three nine on a on a player's club. Yeah, it's good. That is that's really good. Um, it's just so pretty. <laughs> I mean, it's so nice. The, in terms of, let's see, looking at landing angles, the highest was the Neil Pro 243, which is very interesting because it's the lowest loft of the set here. And uh, yeah, that's, I find that kind of different. Didn't expect so that. So launch angle was the highest there with that one. So that contributes to your sure, landing okay. angle. Um, but I yeah. mean, any other, I mean, they're both, I mean, all three of them are, are, are high enough in the air. They're going to stop. They're all good, yeah. That's There's... not going to be the problem. And they're also all very consistent. I mean, if we talk yeah. about the carry numbers here, everything's in a very, very tight range. So there's nothing to worry yeah. about with that in yeah. regard to consistency and, and, and sort of trusting the club. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I don't, I mean, they're all really, it's going to be a lot, I think, in this category, especially about the look and feel aspect for yeah. a player. You know, you're yeah. going to get pretty similar performance across the board with right. irons in this exactly. shape and size. It's going to be about that look and feel element. So um, why, don't we, uh, why don't we wrap it up here? Let's go over performance. Let's go over some innovation, maybe. And let's go over sound, look, and feel. All right, Mr. Kevin Kraft. 
So pretty. <laughs> God damn blueprint S. Um, you know what? We're gonna actually start. I know typically we've done, we've started with performance. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna start with look, sound, and feel, so that you can start <laughs> talking about the blueprint S's a little bit more. So uh, how much time do we have? <laughs> yeah, yeah. So uh, the look, sound, feel. Let's talk, I mean, I I I I think the winner is blueprint S based on your I mean expressions here. Look, they all feel good. I don't want to. I don't want to diss either of these. Yeah, these and you're not. You're they, not. You're not dissing. They them. feel really, really good. Um, this just. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I mean, I, I'm practically at a loss for words, and you know me. I'm not very often at a loss for words. Yeah. Uh, it just feels so, so good. It's soft and buttery, but yet yeah. responsive. And yeah. Still fairly forgiving for what it is, and. Um, and it looks great. I mean, just oh, it's it's everything that I, it's everything I want in an iron. Yeah, it, um, it, it clearly it is. Yeah. So, so okay. Um, now we kind of have to talk about something that I feel like you'll have less fun with, and that okay. is we'll go to the innovation part, and so okay. more of the kind of nitty gritty tech details of each of these irons. I know there's not a ton of that in a player's cavity iron, but which of the three do you pick for that category? I'm still going with this. Yeah, because. This is the first time they've been able to truly forge in a cavity. Yeah. Right? So this is this is something that's not been done before. So therefore, Ping wins on that one. Fair enough. Um, yeah. Their process for being able to make this iron is truly, truly impressive. Mm -hmm. um, being able to create this this look and this this bit of forgiving in the back is yeah, quite impressive. Yeah, and and like we've talked about, we talked about on our uh, on the podcast that we've recorded this morning was just how in this category, Ping doesn't typically, uh, you know, they're they're not living there all the time, right? With, no. With you know, no. they they their releases in this category are far and few between, um, and especially forged ones. And so yeah. when you get Blueprint S, and the way you are reacting to it is, it tells me that they've hit a home run there with it, that. So. They, they absolutely have, and it's it's such a I mean it's such a small segment of, of the the mm -hmm. population that plays this, but yet there's so much, you know, build up to when something new like this comes out. The original blueprint was an, an amazing iron. It was just amazingly small too. Yeah, it like, was, like it, was it was a little terrifying. Like, yeah. I liked it, but I was like, eh, I don't think I'm going to go that route. I was worried that. It was gonna the, the the blueprint S was gonna end up being something not as I don't know not as beautiful as what yeah. the original blueprint was and they're I was gonna wrong. sacrifice this some is, of those looks for yeah, making yeah, it I more had, playable. I had nothing to worry about because they've they've done everything exactly yep. right with this golf club. Yeah, yeah. I mean, and and the performance was fantastic too. Yep. Um, we should note that in, in the testing. The testing, actually, all three of these was great. But mm -hmm. um, we've got numbers up here to, to go through the performance of and dispersion. Yeah. Um, and from the performance of this test and also in what you've seen in, in, in fittings as well, is there a favorite among these three? Well, I haven't had this one very long. Yeah. So I've only done a little tiny bit with this. Um, the Mizuno's been a consistent performer. It was yep. a good performer in the 2-2-3, now in the 2-4-3. Uh, that player that wants something that's, you know, got a, it's a little little faster face, but very much a nice compact mm -hmm. players club. That is an awesome, awesome golf club, yep. and and I really like that one a lot. It's uh, it also ticks pretty much all my boxes. Mm -hmm. This one's just I don't know. There's an extra box for undefined, and <laughs> and, and this one clicks. You know, Ticks yeah. that one too. So, so Ping's gonna go for the sweep in this in this test. I'm, I'm giving like. I'm yep. giving everything to this one. To the Ping Blueprint yeah. S, yeah. Um, it's a little more expensive. It is. It is. But uh, and that's something that we should we. It's important to note in, in the golfers for you know to consider um, yeah. if they're thinking about to get a new iron set this year. Yeah. But um, I mean, and we're gonna revisit this later in the year. There's gonna yeah. probably be another model or two or, or several more that are thrown into this sure. test, and we'll do it again later in 2024. But as of right now, I mean, if you, uh, you should trust Kevin Kraft with his thoughts and, and insights on this stuff, and he is very much impressed with the Ping Blueprint S. So all I can tell you is my own my own experience. Come in, book a fitting, let's hit them, let's see what you get out of it. Maybe you hate this shape. You know? Yeah, uh, that's it's all it's all subjective, right? Feels subjective, look, sound, all subjective. I can tell anybody with anybody anything they want to know about the numbers, but I can't tell them what looks, feels, or sounds good to them. So. Individual results may vary. 
I love this thing. I got yeah. you. Now, that's exactly it. So go get that fitting. Go get with someone like Kevin, and we'll get you dialed in for an iron set that is perfectly suited to everything that you need in an iron. So, Kevin, thank you for all your insight today. Um, sure. Blueprint S. Blueprint Big time winner. Yep.